Hi Pisces, this is Shah and how are you? Nice to see you again and happy birthday if you have your birthday this week. I hope you're enjoying the readings. Well, we have, well, we'll put them back together again. I'm just trying to shake these cards. They're rather big. They're as big as a cake plate. So, well, that was the single one, so we'll take that one. You've got the Empress as the overall power. So, time is fertile. Fertility. So, you could be finding out you're pregnant. You could be hearing of a birth. This could be of a child or a new project. The Empress also represents um, Libra. Okay. Um, so, there could be a prominent Libra around you. Um, or could be coming into your life. Uh, you might have invested in something and uh, it is growing as you are nurturing it. Wow. If you don't want to get pregnant, by the way, take precautions. Ah, and I, I get people saying, I can't get pregnant because I'm too old. No, you could become a grandmother. That's why I'm saying you might be hearing of a birth or a pregnancy. Okay, for those that cannot get pregnant, okay, it's uh, it's already feeling like a bit of spring, and the Empress does feel like spring, doesn't it? And when the sun is shining, and we are in early March, it feels like spring. And um, I wanted to put the cards around the, the circular card, but I haven't got enough space, so I'm going to do it this way. You have the Page of Wands, the Page of Wands, uh, joy. Uh, I'm getting to hear, let your inner child come out and go for what you want. Uh, be spon spontaneous, as the Wands stand for uh, action, that could be work, uh, also creativity, that could be a hobby. Um, be more playful, that is what I'm keeping, somebody's repeating that. Be more playful, don't be too serious, it makes you dull. Also, uh, the Page of Wands is usually Sagittarius, prominently, but don't forget Aries or Leo. And news could be, news is coming to you, this could be about a young person, a child, or come uh, or a young child or young person will be giving you the news. You hearing me shoveling. You've also got the King of Wands. So there could be um, Aries. That uh, Aries is prominent, um, but don't forget Leo or Sagittarius. So you've got a lot of fire this week around you or within you. You might be taking a page out of their book by getting into action, going for what you want, being passionate, especially with the romance reading, there was a lot of passion and love going about. So this could be a continuation of the passion or passion coming in. Woo! Remember, passion doesn't last. Passion is like a ship through the night. So if you want to have a fully-fledged relationship, steady relationship, know your boundaries, know their boundaries, and keep the communication going. I love this. You've got the three of ones. Your plans are coming together. You have been strategically from right from the beginning, when it was very fresh, because it's a young person, <laughs> until you were ready to go for it, you've been strategically planning. Because look, she's holding a map. So she's, at that. this map is telling me like plans. You have know which path to have taken. So good on you. Your plans are coming to fruition. Abundance is coming in. This could be love. This could be a job, this could be money, and we had that in the last reading where you see me that I've been shaking throughout, and you've got the Hermit. The Hermit is Virgo. Okay, so you've got the Sagittarius, you've got the Aries, but don't forget Leo in either positions, and you've got Virgo the hermit. You might be taking time out or it is advised to take time out and to meditate or contemplate. This is also a spiritual card and this could be 
because we are in Pisces, you might be highly sensitive and listening to your higher self, putting your ideas into the material world. Okay, you're sending your affirmations out into the atmosphere so that the divine and the angels can hear you, hear it. Now I'm going to put the overall energy. This is a new beginning. Uh, throw away what is no use to you. Take away what you can use and pass on to children, for instance. Okay, you've got the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups means that you're emotionally imbalanced or you are with your soulmate, um, Pisces. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. And this is your other card. You've got the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. You might feel out left out, you might feel out of sorts, um, because this is a very sensitive spiritual time. So this could be at the end of the month. Then we are in Aries time. We are going towards Aries. But I have got a feeling there's a new dawn breaking, because look at the pink sky. It's not setting. It's, it's rising. Well, it can be setting. There's definitely an ending and a new beginning because your abundance is coming in. Ooh, so it could be the third week. This one flipped. Could be the third week, but it can also be the fourth week. Okay. Now, you've also got the Ten of Wands. You've been through a strenuous time. We were busy with the Five of Pentacles. You might be feeling left out. You might be a little bit too much in your head. You might be um, depressed, but everybody is having, going through a hard time with this COVID. Oh, the key is there to open the door. Wow. You hold the key. Remember that. You are with your soulmate. You are emotionally in balance, or you will meet your soulmate. Or this could be a soulmate, just a friend. It doesn't have to be a partner. It can be also a, a, a friend, a best friend for life, a soulmate. There's different types of love. So you might feel out of sorts with, out of sorts with, or left out by family or friends, but that is maybe because you're spending too much time with your BFF. And time because you, you might be meeting them now this week because things are slackening uh, with restrictions, but you have missed them. You were out of sorts without them. That could be it as well. Well, you could always do FaceTime, but I think you're going to physically meet them. I think that's in the cards. They're coming in. And the hard times are over. Because a 10 becomes a 1. You might not be seeing it. But don't give up so close to the end. Okay? Okay. And you've got the fall. There you are. That's your new beginning. Take that leap of faith. How beautiful is that? Spread your wings. Have faith. Have trust in yourself that you can jump into this new beginning. Go with the flow. That's also what I'm hearing. Now, beautiful. This is lovely. So you've got, perhaps this is news that he's um, they are coming to see you and meeting with you. Um, they are taking it in their stride. They are coming towards you. You no longer have to feel out of sorts. But open that door. Let the universe know what you're thinking. Throw away what is of no use to you. Okay. Now the Ten of Wands. Start delegating. But don't carry other people's burden. You've got enough on your plate. Look, you're mapping things out. Both different decks and she's carrying a map or a card here as well to find her way you you're on your way you are on the right path you've just taken time out 
no more delays the beginning is here boom right in front of you wow look at this you have news watch out for gossip though watch out for gossip you've got the birds here this could be official news so you have the king of wands here but you've got the page so it could be with regards to passion could be regards to uh, 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 something official because we've got the owls in this deck official news could be news about a job or a promotion perhaps that's what is you have been planning or working towards so that's coming in if you've got a business more more clients and you've got the seven of diamonds so the seven of diamonds is the seven of pentacles you might have invested in something and it has taken time and you felt really fed up but now things are moving again what you sow you shall reap if you've done good you will receive good I think uh, you will get more clients if you have your own business you will get a promotion this could be news about promotion okay that is your boat that's coming in you've been waiting for it somebody might have flown the coop or left the group okay could be a child that's leaving home to start a study you've been creative though you've been a true trooper a true soldier like the king of wands one and two is three you've been creative so you have used your creativity and that's put you back into balance you feel happy again at the end of this week really I think you will already be feeling happy around Wednesday Wednesday Thursday now I'm doing the angel feather and that's sticking out and new beginning white angel feather now you can use the angel feather for meditation contemplation or you can wear white and it will help you also to balance out look at all the energy streaming in to the cups you're catching up with your energy it feels to me as if you are rejuvenating a new beginning you're ready for this new beginning it's confirmed by the angels the angels ask that you ready yourself to commence something new and exciting a wonderful fresh start awaits you so this could be a uh, passion this could be a job Wow or a study Wow amazing just open that door it's there for you amazing you can eat white you can wear it you can meditate on it it will help you put yourself also in the white light that is the the light of the divine just imagine that you're in a crystal ball and with lavender and white light and you've put your ball it, yourself in that ball for protection that is the divine protecting you just sit down in your sacred space meditate on that color and that you're in the crystal ball the crystal is also the purest stone with lavender to calm you down sensual zen okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care my sweeties and have a wonderful week thank you